Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy as Promo, and today I'm going to teach you guys something that no one has ever taught before with the Samsung Taskbar. So this one is basically a full tutorial of every single thing that you need to know along with those hidden tips and tricks. So first off, you'll notice that both of these taskbars do look a little different, and it's not just because the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra is larger, it's just because I have these ones set up differently. So first off, over here you can notice that there is no navigation bar, and that is because you can either use this taskbar with or without. If you do have it with, you'll always see your recent home and back button. And then anytime that you open up an application, you'll be able to see that this taskbar goes to the very bottom. Now, if you watch the animation, this is that little hidden tip and trick that some people may not know. When you tap on an icon, you'll see that it just shifts all the way down. So every single application that you have on the very bottom is going to be pushed down that you're able to use. Now, it's gonna do the same thing over here. So let's say that we open up the camera. You can see that now we have another line and then the settings button over here. So what's gonna happen is if you open up an application all of those will be pushed down and then any of your recent applications will show up on the right hand side after this little line. So take a look at this one. Here is that gallery. Here is that camera and we still have settings sitting over there. Now let's go inside of the internet. Again, all of these have stayed the same, but settings is still sitting over here. Now let's open up an application that is not currently as one of our main applications. So let's say that we go over here and let's just open up Google Meet. So now what's gonna happen is if I was to move on over to another application, you can now see that the two most recent applications is sitting over here along with those applications applications that you originally have set up for your normal home screen. So look at that, phone, messages, internet, notes, you also have gallery and then camera. Again, you open this up, they all move on down and then your two recent applications goes over there. So how about we do this again, YouTube Music. Now you're not gonna see it yet because it's not a recent application. Now if I go inside of gallery, now it'll show you those two most recents. Now check this out, let's say that we open up Google Meet. Now it's gonna be replaced with settings. Now let's say if we open up the Samsung Music, here we go, it just uh, basically repeats and recycles through the two most most recent applications. If you try to open up more applications, as, as you can see, we have three of them here. It's only going to show two on the right hand side. Now, another thing you'd be able to do is you can press and hold to remove this bar. So press and hold on the very bottom right here, and then it moves away. Now, if you want it to show right back up, you just go to the very bottom, press and hold, uh, and then it's gonna pull right back up. So this is something that you can open and or basically turn on or turn off. So here is that taskbar on the right hand side. It's just inside of settings, inside of your display settings, and inside of display settings, you can see taskbar. So here it is, you can show the recent applications. So there's that option there. Again, you can set up however you would like it to look. And then here's this one, show and hide with a touch and, 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 and hold as you just saw. So you can turn this one on or off, same thing with the recent applications. And those are the only two toggles that you have. So really the key thing to take away from this is when you open up an application, all of those applications that were on the home screen on the bottom is going to move down. And that is why this one over here has so many sitting on the bottom is because I moved all of these down. If I was to take away YouTube and I put it back up, maybe we take away the YouTube music as well. Oh, hey, you guys might as well hit that subscribe button if you're watching this video because YouTube is telling me that 85.6% of you are not subscribed, but you're coming back to check out these videos. Plus, if you're also loving this video, YouTube is also telling me that 17.2% of you only have your all notifications turned on. So make sure you hit that bell for notifications and select all. Now you're able to see uh, that we're gonna have much, much less. And so here we go. Uh, there's less applications here. You have the two, you still have your navigation buttons sitting there. Now also check this out. This is pretty fun. Let's say that we bring down the YouTube button and then we also bring down YouTube music and we make it into a folder. So what do you think is gonna happen when we do this? Open up the internet, there is the folder. But that's kind of taking away what the taskbar is used for, which is quickly opening up an application that you use all the time. You know, there's really no reason to have folders. Here we go, you can open up a folder, but it is pretty cool to see that you are able to do that if you wanted to add folders to the bottom. So if you wanna have a couple streaming services together, you can put a couple streaming services together. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much the only example I really need to give because you kind of get what you're able to do. If you don't wanna have that folder anymore, drag it on out, 
put it right next to it, and now you're back to normal. Again, when you open up pretty much any of these applications, it all just moves on down, uh, and then it's gonna put two or one, depending on how many applications uh, that you'll be able to open. Let's see if we can open up a different one because we do have a ton on the very bottom. So we already have Paramount Plus. Let's say that we wanna go with Spotify, but then I go back inside of here. Uh, there we go, it actually does open up a little bit more space depending on how many applications you do have. So this is quite a bit over here. We have one, two, three, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 applications. And then we also have two more sitting over here. So it's gonna be the same thing over here. If you wanna have more applications show up on the taskbar, again, these are the ones that you use all the time. Uh, then you'd be able to just simply swipe it on down. Let's say that we wanted to bring out another one. So I'm gonna bring this one, bring it up bring it all the way down. And so now anytime that we open up any of these things here, again, you can see more of these applications show up on the bottom. Again, you just simply swipe between all of these. It's gonna replace it. Uh, you can open these up pretty quick. Now, a lot of the split screen stuff you've seen from before in my other videos, but this is where you'd be able to drag them up. So if you wanna have two applications set up like this, uh, where you have it on the left and the right, or if you wanna have it on a top and a bottom, you can do top and bottom as well, or you can do the uh, pop-up window in the middle. So let's say that we have two applications running there and then just so you can see you can also do three applications so you can have two over here uh, you can have two over here and then one on this side or you can you know do that little pop-up so really however you want to set it up now you have three applications going you can bring them up bring them down you can switch these around tap this you can favorite it if this is one you always use uh, but that's pretty much everything i wanted to show you this is the full tutorial this is using the taskbar with navigation gestures without navigation gestures i'm also showing you how you're able to press and hold to get rid of it or press and hold to bring it back i'm showing you how you're able to you know see those two um, uh, recent applications on the right hand side after this little dash again it's only two that will show no uh, no others but the biggest thing here a lot of people might not know is that you're able to customize how many and what applications show up as the taskbar as those are the ones down here uh, on the main page so this is everything i wanted to show off hopefully you guys appreciated it if you did give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe on the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video the more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later Oh,